So last week was a pretty good week if you're a game fan. We heard a lot about GTA, we heard a good amount about Halo, and we heard a lot of some new games coming out, or hopefully that should be coming out. But yeah, let's let's jump into it. With GTA, we know that they're coming out now with a trilogy remaster. Now that trilogy is gonna consist of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Now, a lot of those games were released in the early 2000s. They're, all, they're very outdated by now, even with their mechanics, how they play. If I'm not mistaken, I think it ran on 30 FPS and obviously the graphics. It does not look like a pretty game and it doesn't look like a game that was released even within the past 10 years. But with this remaster, we're gonna be getting all that. So we're getting new mechanics, for instance, how you drive, how you shoot, some new features that weren't in there last time. We're gonna be getting obviously better textures. Now it's not a remake, so we're not gonna get it from the ground up. It's not gonna look like GTA 5. It's not gonna look like any game that was released in the past couple of years, but it will look a lot smoother than when it was originally released. So talking about those textures, it, it still does look like a PS2 game in a sense. So it keeps that same feel and, and that same nostalgia, I guess, as, as you think of when you play those games or when you did play those games. It looks very nice in my opinion. Uh, the colors pop, the, the render distance is a lot further than last. Um, and now you do have 60 FPS in those games. So they're gonna run a lot smoother. And they're, again, they're they're reworking that completely. It's not a remake, but it is a remaster. So they are gonna be working on those. Talking about San Andreas, San Andreas as well is gonna be getting a VR port. So I'm not quite sure if you heard, but Facebook, when they announced that, hey, we're changing our name, meta, blah, 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 blah. They're gonna be talking about how San Andreas is gonna be coming over to VR. That's all we heard. We don't, we didn't see anything else. We didn't see how the game is gonna um, act within VR, but we did hear that it's gonna be coming to the Oculus Quest 2. That's as far as I said, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be coming out to any other platform within VR, hopefully. Hopefully it comes out to PSVR. Maybe it does come out to the Vive or any one of those. Um, and again, we unfortunately don't know if it's gonna be utilizing the San Andreas from the original or if it's gonna be using the remaster. I would assume it's gonna be using the remaster versions, but again, that's just my two cents. Still with GTA, we did hear from Snoop Dogg himself that Dr. Dre is working on new music for an upcoming GTA game, whether that be for the new remaster coming out, because I'm sure it's gonna be hard to get, or for Rockstar to get their hands on the original licenses that they had back in the early 2000s. Maybe he's working on new music for that game, so maybe it's gonna be like the old era of music or it could be for maybe a gta 5 online you know pack or it could be for gta 6 if i dare say so myself personally i, I don't think it's going to come to gta 5 I, I could see it either being for the original um trilogy remaster but goddamn i sure hope it's for gta 6 but i guess leave it to snoop dogg maybe we'll hear more but either way with this trilogy remaster we will be seeing this release november 11th this year 2021 as long as there's no delay and again this is going to be coming on xbox one ps4 pc and switch and the mobile ports will be getting it sometime in 2022 early 2022 if i'm not mistaken and speaking of an older game um getting a remaster or a modernized look we're getting fallout fallout new vegas remake not from bethesda or not from obsidian we're getting it from modder so they're actually remaking fallout new vegas within fallout 4 itself this mod is called fallout project mojave right now it's actually currently um you're, you're able to download it you're able to download it play it and test out yourself on pc as long as you do have fallout 4 and all of the dlc for that i actually tried it out myself it looks beautiful um it, it's again still going to be obviously fallout 4 um graphics textures um draw distance features all of that same thing as fallout 4 be able to play fallout new vegas in its entirety it's still in very early development stages so it's it's very rough if you do try to play it right now um again i, I tried playing it. it it looks great it doesn't look like fallout 4 it looks like fallout new vegas in fallout 4 textures which is amazing to me very small map currently there's a couple enemies here and there a couple npcs now those npcs they're not they're not voiced yet so they do sound like siri if you try to go up and talk to them if i'm not mistaken i did see on um the mods website that they are actually looking and, and hiring for voice actors it's it's a volunteer service so it's not going to be paid but you can help them out in, in making this game if if 
that's what you're into if you're into voice acting reach out to them i definitely would now again it's still in its very early development stages so no missions um you're just in the desert currently um obviously everything's in the desert but you don't get access to the strip yet and there, there's no true npcs or mission quests or anything like that just so you can see kind of where they're at and in their journey now on to everyone's favorite um if you're an xbox fan halo um i'm not quite sure if you've seen halo's craig um is what they're calling them so looking a lot better than when we saw him last year he looked terrible he didn't look modern at all and, and when i say modern i mean modern graphics he looked very flat he looked like a 360 type character they changed his appearance first of all so instead of being bald with no facial hair he now has a mohawk with some facial hair a goatee and they have a lot more detail to him um he truly does look like a next gen game character hopefully they're able to add you know that same kind of detail to the entire game and entire environment i would sure hope so they've been getting a lot of scrutiny about it um and they went back and fixed it which i'm really glad to hear now as for the early stages of games uh, that we heard about last week we did hear about warner bros um and they're making a platform brawler very similar to um super smash bros obviously with their characters now images of those um were surfaced on twitter um now some of those characters do include shaggy batman rick sanchez from rick and morty um tom and jerry bugs bunny just to name a couple of them um this game hasn't been confirmed but with these screenshots being leaked i'm sure it is in development now a lot of people say that this looks horrible at least the characters character modules look bad but again this this has not been announced i'm sure they're still working on it nice thing as well we did hear about a new AAA game coming out from skydance new media all right skydance uh recently released the walking dead saints and sinners which was received very well actually they're they're working on a story driven action adventure marvel game uh amy hennig as the uh, narrative and story director uh, now amy was also the narrative and story director for the first three uncharted games those games if you haven't played them already they're fucking amazing um if you have playstation play those games just so you can kind of get an insight of what she's about those games are truly amazing um and i do think that hopefully this marvel game will be amazing as well yeah it's gonna i hope it's gonna be very similar similar to uncharted how it is in a linear direction and great great story but yeah not else has been revealed on the upcoming marvel game it is going to be its own original story um so hopefully they use a character that hasn't been used in the movies honestly some some comic character or comic book character that doesn't get a lot of attention as they should who would you want to see honestly leave that in the comments i would love to see it and kind of have a back and forth kind of um, conversation with you about it apparently we're getting um a quiet place game a quiet place the movie you know very random uh didn't really hear anyone really asking for this i love the movies i'm not necessarily i'm not mad at this at all i'm just very curious on how what direction they're going to take with it i truly hope it's going to be original story as well something that they haven't used in the movies different characters maybe we get to see the start of it of kind of how that plot came came to or how everything kind of crumbled i would love to see it i just don't know how it's going to be with just dead silence within a game but i mean i i'm sure it's going to be cool to just see that journey and see the direction that they take hopefully it's going to be good that's kind of all we have for for last week hopefully this week we get some more news and i can share that with you uh, but yeah thanks for stopping by though um again if, if you did like this video and if you want to stick around and see more um then yeah don't forget to leave a like and subscribe i do stream on twitch every so often uh, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. If there's anything else that you're looking forward to or anything that I missed, again, leave that in the comments. Let me know. Uh, I'll see you all next week, and hopefully we have some more big announcements.